Today I'm going to be talking about how to prepare for NBA Love Mobile Season 9. As we just got news that NBA Love Mobile Season 9 will be coming really soon, I'm starting to create a ton of Season 9 stuff, Season 8 like recap stuff as well, because it's about to be the end. You're going to probably see two to three videos a day for the next week. It's going to be absolutely insane, so watch out for all of that. But first, we're going to be talking about how to prepare for NBA Love Mobile Season 9. Now, I made a video of this a few weeks ago, but I have some extra stuff now. First, you want to, because of the official news, so I have extra stuff. But first, you want to keep your collectibles. Now, it says that collectibles don't transfer over, but even though it doesn't transfer over, it gives you credits, and those credits are going to be great for buying pro packs for the next season. And you want to buy those pro packs. Right here is the pro packs where you can buy from the credits. It's like the basically the only reason, but you should still do it. Because it gives you a lot of players. And those players you can sell for a lot of coins, you know. Like maybe if you get a gold, you might get a few hundred thousand coins. As always in the season at the start, players sell for... A lot more than they should be because it's new. Best players are like 87 overalls. So you better keep your collectibles. Also, get more pro packs now and 80 to 84 players in general because if you do that, you're going to be able to get a lot of players. Now, previous years, this is what happened is that you can trade up your previous season players like for the 99 overall. You know, um, let's check. This Stephen Curry is not from this season. It's from previous season, but I can still trade him up. So that means that I can trade up players and from any season since, like, season three. And that means that you can get some 85 overalls for your current lineup, which is going to be great. You're going to get a ton of those. And not only do you get that, you will also get um, a lot of coins from that because you will get a lot of duplicates from that. So you get a ton of coins. And those coins will be able to, like, it will be like millions of coins from just selling those 84, 85 overalls because you saved up your 80 to 84 overalls this season. So you should do that. I mean, even if you, if it doesn't, you can just quick sell them for some coins. I don't know if it's going to transfer over like last year where you can do that, trade your players from previous season, but it's worth a try. Next, don't buy anything with cash and coins. Because... Look at the 110 overalls. They're not much of big of a difference. I believe the auction house is closed almost, basically. Like, these players are selling for so much coins. It is not worth, like, $17 million just to get Jason Tatum. It's not worth it at all. Like, are these sellable? I don't know, but... Like, you should not sell... I mean, you should... You could sell your players to get more coins, but you should not buy any more players right now. Keep your coins for next season. Because the auction house always inflates the card prices. Also, do not spend your cash. There's not even that much stuff to spend your cash in here. Don't spend your money too. It's too late to get live pass and the Deadly Dreamers players. But there's not much ways to spend cash. And like, to be honest, the Deadly Dreamer Grandmaster is not that good. Jonas Valanciunas is not that good. The Kevin Matumbo you can get for free. So you should not spend your cash. Right now, save it for next season because cash and coins do transfer over to the next season. So you can save them to buy like a lot of packs for next season. Maybe you want to buy this superstar bundle next season. I might. Probably won't, but still. That would be great. And then finally, my last thing is keep your players right here for collection. It's going to be really good for showdown if you play it 
in arena because they carry over and you can use multi-year lineups. So if you build a really great team, don't just sell your players because you think they will be useless for next season, but keep it because they can help you in showdown. But that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. We're out.